I am sharing my screen with Excel add-in. Uh, before, okay, before that, you need to know where it is. It's under tools, under tools, Excel add-in here. If you go here and you will be able to install the Excel add-in and uh, install, install it, it's, uh, it, you need to log in your uh, my Microsoft account and will ask you some questions. And uh, you basically need to answer yes for all of them. And uh, then you install them, install the exciting. Once you install it, you will see a Guru Focus tab here, Guru Focus ribbon here, actually. Once you click on it, a Guru Focus ribbon will show up. And you, if I click on open test plan, it will load the test plan here. Uh, yes, yeah. And it will ask you to log in. And the login is the same as your Guru Focus account login online. And uh, then with this exciting, you will be able to do a lot of things. We we do have lots of templates here. We have lots of uh, Excel adding templates. And for instance, this screenshot is um, uh, this this here. The, this image is from a, uh, a template we have. And you can create a lot of you can you can create a lot of your own template, your own research template uh, based on them, and uh, um, it it will make your research very powerful. I want to show you first is you can easily call you can easily call a uh, call for parameters. If for instance, if I just uh, click on insert formula here, it was, there will be a pop up. And take right of this, and uh, this is future uh, total revenue to future total revenue growth rate insert. And uh, if you want to know the historical revenue, for instance, if you want to know the historical revenue of of um, Moody's, I, again, if I just uh, click on ticker here, and I don't want to look at the revenue, uh, and I want to not only the the current revenue, I want to know the historical. For instance, from 2010 to today, and uh, the annual revenue, and to show the date also, and to show it uh, vertically, sort of uh, ascending order, and it will load, load the, yes, now it loads the historical uh, Moody's revenue here. And uh, if I change to another, another ticker, I just change, for instance, NVIDIA, and it will load it. Uh, yeah, it will load automatically uh, the NVIDIA, NVIDIA's historical revenue and the future growth rate. And now it says the future growth rate of NVIDIA is 45%. And you can look, you can see the historical revenue. It has been gaining, uh, gaining uh, tremendously gain over the last year. It more than doubled over the last 12 months. If we look at another one, for example, if we look at Microsoft, uh, it's a more steady, Steady growth. You can you can first now you're in Excel. You can create your own chart here. Uh, if you can you can create your own chart because we're now in Excel. So I already create a chart here. If I this shows uh, the revenue of of Microsoft, and if I just change to another one, if I just change to Walmart, uh, the revenue will be grow grow much slower. You can see that uh, if I change to Intel, for example. And the chart will automatically load if I just change the ticker. And you can see that uh, the, the revenue has been declining. And for a company that has declining revenue, of course, we're not surprised that uh, the uh, its stock crashed. It's a really, really powerful tool. It has been used by lots of professional users of ours. And they usually create their own pool, uh, the temp templates. Um, so you can load every parameter we have on the website into Excel and create your own uh, research templates. Um, another thing we have we added is, is a screener. You can use uh, the screener in Excel within the Excel itself. For instance, here we said create edit screener. If I just create a uh, screener here, I click on that, you can see that uh, a, a filter all the filters you see in, in all in one screener appears here, which actually is the same as you have from the 
uh, all in one scanner. And uh, simply here, if I just want to load SP500 companies, I just want to load all SP500 companies. Uh, that's the filter I, I set. I click confirm here, and it, it should already, yes, it should already load SP500, all the SP500 stocks here. I just use a very simple uh, filter. I just I just want SP500 index stocks. So here, and I already loaded all the SP500 uh, stocks with very, very simple uh, screener here. So it, I loaded it to to the SP, to the Excel. Now, if I want to know other parameters, if I just want to, for example, I want to know the earning per share. I want to know the earning per share, and I just insert a formula here. And the ticker, I'll be using this ticker. The calculation, I'll be using earning per share, and I'll be using earning per share, so I insert here. And it will load the earning per share of all these companies. I just drag it down, use, use a function of uh, Excel. See, it's all updated already here. So it shows you all the earning per share, earning earning per share of of all the SP five hundred com companies. So this powerful Excel adding tool uh, is you can do with a screener. Of course, if you want to know the market cap, and I'll do a similar thing. I just insert and. Uh, here I select the ticker I want, and uh, the calculation I want is market cap. So I just click on market cap, and uh, the, you, you get the market cap in millions. And again, I can drag it, and so the, the data will upload for for all the companies. So of course, that's that's how you, uh, how it works for the for the. Uh, all these numbers. If uh, you can, you can do uh, almost unlimited number of things. Uh, for instance, you I want to know the historical uh, historical revenue. I want to know the historical revenue over the past ten years. I, for instance, I just uh, click on that, and uh, I click on the ticker, and again I select I, I enter revenue here because I want to know the historical revenue. And um, okay, I think if I do negative 10, it will show me the historical last 10 years uh, revenue. And I need to have it horizontally listed because um, my vertical is used by other tickers. So see here, it shows my the last 10 years revenue of this company. And again, if I drag down and uh, it will update, it will update and uh, show you all the numbers. Yes, that's uh, the, the revenue of the last 10 years of all these companies. I'm not sure here why uh, this company has only four years. Probably it's a new company. It can be a new company. It's a spin off or something. And uh, uh, yeah, I, just to show you how to get the numbers uh, with, to your Excel. Again, we have lots of, uh, we have lots of uh, templates here. If, if, for example, if I come to the templates, and you can see that uh, I, they, we have these templates. If I click one of them, and okay, I need to download it. I, I download it, uh, saving scan, okay. I need to download it. Once I download it and open it, uh, if I download it and I open it, it's now open. Yes, it's, it's now open. And uh, you can see that it's, it's really powerful. And it shows you all the charts, and it shows you all the numbers, and it's built here. It's built beautifully already. And uh, if all you need to do is here, actually, just change the you just change the ticker. You just change the ticker. You just change the ticker here, and uh, it everything will update automatically. All the numbers, all the charts will update automatically. So it's really powerful and uh, I take advantage of it. Uh, here, for instance, I just changed the ticker to Microsoft ticker. 
And the company shows tells you company Microsoft is a software company. The current price, the currency, the fiscal year end is is on um, June, uh, and you can see that the dividend. This blue line, the dividend yield of Microsoft. This green line is the price, the stock price. Here you can see revenue per share. The brown line is I think it's a growth rate year over year growth rate. The earning per share, book value per share. Here are all the numbers. Numbers you can see the small charts, bar charts here, which give you an indication of all the numbers. Um, it's 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 really unlimited, and uh, there's unlimited possibilities with it. Yeah, please take the advantage of it and spend some more time on it. Feel free to ask us questions whenever you you don't know how to use it, and uh, if if you need more help. Feel free to schedule meetings with us, and you can see that under tutorials here. You can contact us uh, in different ways. And first, you can create a support ticket here. You can come to this support here. You can chat with us. You can call us. You can also schedule a tutorial meeting. If you schedule a tutorial meeting, you select your own date and time. And uh, one of us will appear. Sometimes I am online also there to answer your questions, to give you one-on-one, one-on-one -on -one, um, one -on -one meet uh, tutorials on Google Focus.